Now, let's now work with the date time module because we want to work with the date of birth and whenever it is a date of birth of a person, we want to send an email. Let's try to work with the date time. Okay, so date time is inbuilt. So we are going to import it. Import date time. It is already inbuilt in Python standard library, so you don't have to install it. It comes uh, preloaded. Now, in date time, there is a class called date time. So in the date time, there is a class called date time. And you can see that it is a class. You can see that it is a C class. So it will be confusing if I write date time dot date time. So let's call the package with a name. Import date time as let us say DT. Then we can say dt dot date time. Otherwise, it will be confusing. Dt dot date time. Now, using this date time, there is a method called now. There are many methods available. You can go through the documentation. One method is now, which is going to give you the current date and the current time when you execute the program. Right. So let's now catch it in now, and let's now try to print it. What is the date and time as of now? Now you can see that some date is given year, month followed by the day, and then time is given number of hours, number of minutes, number of seconds in a very precise manner. It has given okay. Now, similarly, you can get the month also. Now on the now object, on the now object there are many methods available. One of the method is month. You can get the month and you can type, you can print it. Month is a attribute, so it is not a method. It is an attribute, and if you print it, it is saying month is ten. Okay, so ten is October, and if you see the type of the month, it will be an integer. Similarly, you can also get the year. So, for example, if you say year equal to now dot year, here is also an attribute, and if you print it, you are going to see the current year also. Okay, twenty twenty three. See, if you are going to watch these videos in 2025, still all the concepts that I discussed are going to be same. Okay, so don't worry about the year. Currently, it is 2023. And similarly, you can also get the day. Either it is Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, you can get the day also. Now dot day, week day. Now it is going to give what is the weekday, but it is going to give in some number. Monday is going to start with 0, Tuesday 1, Wednesday 2, like that it is going to give some number. So number 5 is given, so which means it is Saturday. So Monday is going to start from 0, so number 5 means it is Saturday. Okay. And similarly, you can also create a date object on your own, your own date object you can create and later you can compare the objects. Okay, so this is important. Later we are going to do this. So, birthday, day of date of birthday, we are going to create a new object of date time. You can view the year, you can view the month, you can view the day. You can view the year, you can view the month, you can view the day. Also, you can view hour, minute, and seconds. You can be so precise about your birthday if you remember that. Otherwise, leave it like that. And if you print it, you are going to see this. So, year, month, day, 
and then you are going to see some r and minute and then seconds as default values which are zeros okay okay thank you hi in this program what we want to do is every monday we want to send a motivational code to ourselves so we have collected all the motivation codes some one or two codes we have collected and we have cre created a file called codes.txt and from that file we are going to randomly pick a motivational line and we are going to email it to ourselves on every monday so here is codes.txt so all the codes are present and these codes are present one code per line in every line there is one code okay so this information will be useful when you are trying to take a random code now <coughs> We are going to use date time module, SMTP lib module, random module. We, all all these modules you already know about them. So we have imported SMTP lib. We have imported date time as DT, and we are importing random because we want to choose a random code every time, not in a line. And now we are going to get what is the day that we are currently in. Every Monday we want to send the uh, you know email, but the problem is today is Saturday. If I use the code uh, to check for Monday, I have to wait for testing till Monday. So I am going to change the code in order to send the code on Saturday. Okay, so weekday now. Now the weekday actually you have to write if weekday equal to zero Monday, right? But we are going to write a weekday weekday equal to five so that I can test it today. Later you change it. Okay. It depends on when you want a motivational quote. Instead of zero, we are going to use five because today is Saturday. And then if it is Saturday, we are opening the file for reading with to open as let us call it as quotes data. Or code file, okay. And now we are going to get all the codes in a list by using read lines. So from the file that we have opened, code data, we are going to read lines. Code data dot read lines. Now it is going to create a list, and in the list we are going to have all the codes. And every item in the list is one port, depending on each line. Okay, so from that we are going to randomly selecting a port. So random choice all ports. It will give you one of the ports randomly. Let's call it as port. Now we have to email that. Okay. So let's try to print it and see which code we got. So here we got a quote. Follow effective actions with quiet reflection. From the quiet reflection will come more effective. Just uh, move to the right. More effective action by Peter Drucker. Drucker. Okay. <coughs> so we got the quote. Now we want to email the quote. Now you know how to email the port. You know how to send an email, right? So we are going to have email and password, the user ID and the password for SMTP connection. So we are going to open SMTP connection. Let's open it as with and as. With SMTP lib dot SMTP. Capital M. So it is Gmail account that we are using to send the email. So we have we have to give smtp.gmail.com and the port number is five eighty seven. So let's use to open it as connection. And now connection dot start tls tls transport layer security. This is on these lines are almost same every time when you do try to send an email. These lines are same. 
and then we are creating the login. We are logging in into the SMTP server using email and password. Now we are sending the email. From and to DLRT is same because we are sending to ourselves. So from and to both are same here. From is the email and to address is the email. The same email that we are using. And the message is going to have a subject and also the quote. So we are using an F string. In the F string, first we are going to write subject. Subject as Monday motivational quote. Monday motivational quote. And then two new line characters. And then we will insert the quote that we are trying to send. So to and from all the same email IDs. Okay. Now let's run it and open the Gmail. Now we got the email. Monday motivational quote. We got the email and we got the quote. Okay. So you can also do one thing. You can also send it to others have a list of email IDs to whom you want to send the quote on every Monday, look through the list, get each email ID and you try to send it to your friends, the motivational quote, they will be happy. Thank you.